Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you what you can do if your OBS Studio crashes and stuff like that. So first off, what you want to do is you want to close it off and now you want to right click on the application and run this at the administrator. And then see if it works out for you and if you can try out something. So if it still doesn't work out, if you still get crashes and stuff like that, what I recommend you guys to do is you want to go over to the search bar. You want to go over to device, ma not device manager. I'm going to show that later. You want to go to task manager. I want to make sure that nothing is using too much. For example, if it's crashing for no reason at all, most likely maybe you have some things like editors and stuff like that opened up. So editors, those take a lot of RAM guys. Like you want to keep that in mind that those take a lot of RAM of your task, um, of your computer actually. So go to performance and go to memory and on here you can see how much you're actually using like minus 23% and also your CPU and stuff like that. So this is really easy, you can see it from here. And let's just close it off. And that's how you can actually check it out. And if you have some other programs opened, just close it off guys. And test out if it works again on OBS Studio and if it doesn't crash. Now let's go to some other things, like for example, let's just go to our device manager. And on here we're gonna make sure that our drivers are up to date. Because it's really important that our OBS Studios are working with upgraded drivers. Go over to Displays Adapters, double click and go to your GPU, double click. And now you will be on here, go to Driver over here and go to Update Driver. On here you can just search automatically for new drivers and you can just look if there are new drivers available for OBS Studio. So if you check that out and you update it, you can just test out and open it up. But how can you also upgrade your drivers? Really easy if you have GeForce. So I recommend you guys to get this, like I said in my other videos, and go to drivers, go over to check for updates, and on here it will actually show you a new update. And I need to update this over here. So. I'm gonna update it later on after ending this video. So yeah, here is where you can update it and on here it's actually a lot easier than going to like stuff like device manager. But now let me show you guys some other things which you also can try out. What you wanna do is you wanna right click and go to display settings. On here you wanna go over to graphic settings and let me delete this really quickly so I can show you how to do this and you want to go to desktop app or this uh, classical app so it depends on the computer that you have it's gonna say maybe something else so once you click on here you want to click on browse it will be somewhere around here what you want to do is you want to click on Windows and on Windows it's either gonna be saved on program files program files 86 or maybe Windows or somewhere else so on mine it's saved up on program files so I want to double click on that and I want to go over to OBS Studio and by the way guys if you could please click like and subscribe thank you so much that will really help me out now let me click on here and go to bin go to 64 bits or 32 go to OBS 64 or OBS 32. Just click once and click on add. Once you click on add, go over to options and go to power saving. Save. And now you just wanna start off your OBS studio again and see if it doesn't crash. And yeah, that's basically it guys for this video. So if you still have some problems, the last fix with that I wanna show you guys is this. So I'll just go to your search bar, search up OBS, go to OBS Studio and right click and go to uninstall. And on here, what you wanna do is you wanna go over to OBS over here, just click, right click and go to uninstall. And this is the last option that you wanna use guys if none of these things work. 
yeah that's basically it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it please drop a like also subscribe thank you so much you can also follow me on twitter and instagram i'll leave a link in the description down below and you can also join my discord server guys and yeah that's basically it thanks for watching like i said and take care and goodbye